Hello everyone, today we got a new match and oof, this was another another great great match uh, and this one is with me from the tournament from the Smacky Cup tournament, the Fog on-site tournament this is the round 2 uh, if you watched my other video, the one that's with Sammy, uh, Sammy Mirror, that was round 1 against Kill Me First and this uh, this is the round 2, this was the, the next one against this player, Cap Pearson, uh, I think it, it, they are a 12 or 1300 uh, ELO player, uh, but very strong player. Um, you can't, you can't really be doing anything, like you, you can't just be meaning with players that are under your ELO because you will get punished, and that's something that one tends to get. Uh, reminded of a lot and that happened to me in this match for sure um i was very confident and i was just like ah, I, I had won the last match i was like ah, i beat kiwi first and i was just so happy and at the beginning uh of this match i am like ah, i'll just I, i'm just gonna have fun and that's okay you know i i, I had fun but then i i get a i, I get a, a little punished and i'm like oh shit, I, am i really gonna lose this i, I don't want to lose this match i really want to perform well in this in this tournament there's a lot of really cool maps in this uh smacky cup tournament so i really wanted to but play really well and get to play through all these maps so let's talk about the map the map is very interesting um so it's a two base uh one base it has two airports um and I guess from this two base, this would be kind of your strong side into your HQ. And this, and then this area from this one base would be your weak side. There's all these forests right here, so this would like really delay your reinforcements from these two bases into here. Um, but yeah, probably around here would be your strong side. I might be wrong though. Um, there's four towers. I say I, I might be wrong because I, I play with Sturm and Sturm ignores all of these forests and so it kind of like you just send units every, anywhere and say so you decide where your strong side is. But I definitely did, did feel because of these pipes and these mountains that over here this is your weak side because this is the only base that can get around here in like uh, two turns. But these will take like one turn, they're over here and they can help over here in two turns but to get over here it will be three turns. So it definitely felt like this was the weak side. And these two airports are kind of the same, like they're in the same place. I guess you can spam two copters at the same time. And let's talk about, uh, let's talk about Sturm. So, so Sturm is very, very interesting and is a lot of fun. I, I try to. I have to convince myself of not picking Sturm whenever he's available on a map because he tends to be banned a lot. But he's just so much fun. Like the fact that you can just send units, go through forests, your infantry will cross through these mountains. Like you just go. Wait. Regans are insane. They do their full eight movement. It's just crazy, crazy. Um, so it's a lot of fun, and your Regans can go and harass. And because he has extra de defense, like they'll survive, you know. Like, even if you put the recon on a planes, a tank will leave it at I think three or four on a city. Like that's at least a five HP recon. So it's it's really a lot of fun. Like you know the recon will survive at least one tank hit, and then you can pull it back. There's no way the tank will will like uh, chase you and you know, get to you because you, you move eight spaces and you hide in a forest and. It, you're done. You, you have a low HP recon that still serves as a as a little um, you know for for vision. Um, but with the recon uh, with <laughs> with Sturm, what you can expect is definitely a lot of recon harassment early. Like not only one recon, two recons, three recons, maybe four recons. Like it depends on the player how much they want to invest into it. But Sturm will you know one of his game plans is to like send a bunch of recons early and harass you, harass your infantry capping, not even like contested properties, like some of like your more safer properties, like I don't know, over here or whatever, just because they, they can be deployed and, and get there so fast, faster than what you can make a tank to hit back the recon. So Sturm has like a few days of like free hits with, with his recon, 
and those early free hits against infantry is so uh, painful because not only it delays your capture but then that infantry that's hurt won't even uh, recover its HP to 10 to then capture other properties in two turns it will take longer and so every all your caps get delayed by so much it, it lowers like it slows down your funding slows down your like your funding uh, your money to pump out other vehicles like tanks and stuff so a good stern recon uh, uh, a good stern player can really punish you with that and can set you back a lot while then he comes into the contested contested space and like kind of holds the ground with his artillery and uh, rockets or whatever and and then you're dead <laughs> basically so so yeah that's what uh, the, the recons the fast recons um, the indirects also go really fast also the high defense is a really so painful like a tank on a city of Sturm is really hard to dislodge you can't 2 hit KO with tanks. I, I think you can't even 3 KO it. No, yeah, I, I think you probably can 3 KO it with a normal CO. But in this case, we're a Sturm mirror. like <laughs> So I think 3 Sturm tanks can't take out a, a Sturm tank on a CD. I think that's it. So let's get right into it. <laughs> we go. I am in the brown, and my opponent is on the teal. Just going for neutral cities, and I already made a day three recon, of which my opponent also for a day three recon. So we both have the same game plan. We also made it from the same base. So we're both going from for, for the same thing. So my recon, move through these mountains like it's nothing, because I knew I was going for this one. Uh, which is this one. I knew that they would also be trying to go for this one. Or maybe this one. Oh, I already had it even. So, these two. Specifically. So I wanted to go and stop those caps. So I already have it. And they will most likely do something similar. Yeah, they go into the forest. Which is not a bad idea. And then, I come here and interrupt. And this is just out of tank range. And I had calculated that a tank could be deployed on this turn, turn, turn 5 it was obvious that he was going to do a recon maybe on day 4 he could have done it but you're a stern, you're not going to do that you're going to make recons and so this could not be in range to attack it so this was a, a very safe hit oh I made another recon <laughs> um, and I spotted the, the recon and I make two more recons <laughs> I made four recons, and they only made one, and they attacked their recon to my recon. Just like nine nine, that's useless. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Probably better to just either attack this infantry to lower my my income, or I don't know, just try to find other infantry. And this tank moves over here, and I can see it. And they make an artillery. Already prepping for that, like, uh, comm tower lock. I forgot to say, but there's four comm towers on this map. So, with another CO, that would be very significant to have that higher firepower. With Sturm, it's just getting to 100 firepower. <laughs> so, I completely ignore this recon. I just go over here, get vision of more cities. Um, I got vision of this one, but. Uh, oh, because I, I didn't have it yet, so I, I was thinking maybe of being able to stop it. But it also, it's also a nice vision, and on a city, it's like, unmovable. But yeah, completely, completely ignoring this recon, I just move my infantry. Like, go ahead and attack my infantry, whatever. I'm just gonna keep going. And I, I saw the tank, and I decided to still attack this infantry. It did only two, but it still stops the cap. It still is going to survive the tank, and I had also because I knew the units that were here, uh, they they couldn't trap my recon. Like with this tank, this tank had attacked from, or I, I guess they could they could attack from the tank from here, and this infantry could go here and trap it. But they had to they had to invest infantry 
which meant that it would delay another cap. So by trapping my recon, it would delay their caps, and that was kind of like the whole point. So now I make a tank. I'm gonna start doing some tanks because I can't just do all recons. But I got my four recons out versus their single one recon. Decides to attack my infantry over here. Decides to attack my recon from the road, so then my recon is kind of like stuck here. Has to go like this. And decides not to trap it to go for that cap. Which is probably the smartest. And sees my recon, decides to like not step over here. I guess put places it here to then go to the city, hoping that I will move. Not sure if I do. And then let's see. Go for this city. I still go ahead and cap this city over here bring my tank which is just in range to cover the, the imagery so if they decide to attack mine this tank can can blow this recon up get this cap which they haven't got yet so I guess my recon harassment already slightly paying off but on the other hand they have this one and I don't have it bring my other recon blocking the city it's not even now to attack infantry, now I'm just sitting on cities. <laughs> Which is another form of uh, cap denial. Like this one is another, there's three recons sitting on cities. And this recon gets away and attacks this infantry by just one health. And so it will delay this cap another turn plus taking the repairs. So it, it still hurts. Like this, this recon attack these three infantry. So definitely paid off, as well as getting vision. And I, <laughs> oh, I didn't remember this. I made more recons. I made six recons. Wow. Go for more caps and finish us off my my recon. Get some vision. Brings the artillery. I can see it, but they can also see it. How can they see it? Oh, from the mountain. Um. Attacks my infantry again, goes for this cap, comes in, sees my recon, brings the tank. This tank is covering all these infantry, it's not covering this one. Bring more infantry, recon, tank. Okay. Pretty standard. I'm going for the more crazier uh, recons everywhere approach. It might be it might have been way too many because I only have one tank versus their three tanks and one artillery. But as I said before, I was having a lot of fun with Sturm. It's hard not to have fun playing as Sturm. Because playing against Sturm is another story. But when you're Sturm, it's pretty fun at first. You just send your recons, you harass, they survive. I go in with my tank, attack this recon. I get this comm tower. I also really wanted to get comm towers and deny them from their pro uh, from the comm tower, so as to really like make sure they had that 80 or maybe 90 firepower while I had 100 or 110, and that would really really hurt. Having that lower firepower against higher defense, it's just insane. Like the units just simply don't die. Like you see, like these recons have been attacking and they do 2, 3, 1 damage. It's ridiculous. Even this, this this recon would have been a dead recon in any other like CO matchup. It was a it was at 9 HP, this tank would have bloom would have just blown it apart. Maybe at one and then I could finish it up. So I go for this comp tower, go for this city. I sit here on this city and attack the re the infantry, and I attack this infantry. So this one's safe, this attack, this tank will attack this recon, but all this is safe. I guess I could have uh, sent this to finish off the recon, but maybe it didn't finish it off, so I decided to interrupt that cap. Bring my additional two recons. Wow. Copter, tank, infantry, infantry. Finishes the cap, goes for this cap, gets vision, attacks my recon, you see that? Wow, is it at seven? Yeah, that's a that's a stern versus stern engagement right there. Uh, interrupts 
also another one. Oh, it was at nine, but interrupts, leaves it at eight, back at seven. This <laughs> is ridiculous. The lower firepower and higher defense in, in a mirror. Just ridiculous. So, moving in forward with this infantry, shooting at my recon. This recon survives, so it will give them vision for the rest of the game, probably. Maybe should have finished it off instead of attacking here. Is it? It's the only you know. They, they have now two recons. Okay, so tank anti-air. Pretty wow! Like made an anti-air right when I made a copter, so pretty well. With a classic day nine uh, anti-air build. Very good, very good. So getting caps. I think. I think the Regan Harassment might actually be paying off. I'm at 19 versus 17, but it is the start of my turn. We'll see when it's their turn. Oh, 20. I go for this corner over here. And I go to finish off this infantry. I harass this infantry. Yeah, I was just... Either I was having a lot of fun, or maybe my idea was to injure as many infantry as possible so as to delay caps as much as possible but at the same time i am sending all of my recons to the front finishing off this infantry and i only have one tank like this is the, this is the only tank i have versus one two three tanks that are already on the field Scary, scary. And, and an artillery. And just now I'm bringing in more. But luckily, like, none of their tanks were in range of my tank, or else that would be, like, dead. I got one comp tower. I safely know that I might get this one. And I'm trying to deny or get this one also to them. Like, I, my plan was to get it and then sit this artillery over here, I think, in two turns. Two, four, five, two. Four, five, no, it needs three turns. To then sit it here and point at this comm tower so that they could never get it back. And ideally, I mean, getting this comm tower would be like a stretch, but I don't know, maybe denying it. Gets this city, finishes off my, my recon, attacks this recon, so this one is still alive, which is nice. And finishes up the infantry and starts capping, brings the artillery. Oof. Almost dead. I think it finishes up. Yeah, now the recon is dead. Bring this infantry into your tank. Starts moving into this comm tower, into this city. So. I just had like six recons, I think. Five or six recons. Now I'm down to two recons. <laughs> And a 1 HP and a 1 HP recon over here. And I knew about all these tanks, and I only had this one tank. I I can't I can't attack this tank into this tank. Because it will just die to these other tanks. So I had to be very careful now. I was already it, it, I was in a very dubious position right now. Like do I keep on harassing harassing infantry? And then everything, all my recons will die, and I'll just have lower unit count. You can see the, the the disparity already. I have lower unit count and lower unit value. I, I probably kill like a few infantry, but uh, I've already lost like a few recons and a few infantry. So not looking too good. I oh look, you can already see the income. Like at least the recon harassment paid off for the income. I am at the beginning of my turn, I am 2k ahead of my opponent. So at least it paid off in some sense. But the unit value is still <laughs> like what I've lost. Like, you know, it's the classic, it, was it worth it? I think I know my answer, but I'll leave it up to you. So I go for this city, go for the comm tower, finish off this infantry. I get this city too, uh, which I don't think I can deny. And I try to, I guess I try to hold the position here, let's see. Bring this recon to live. And yeah, harass a little bit. 
Yeah, so I went a little bit more conventional this turn. I, I knew I couldn't do too much. But they get their comm tower. They're gonna get this comm tower, they're gonna get this city. Attack my other recon. Already my recon uh, army is down to just one full HP recon. The other ones are just gonna be like for vision. That's it, that's all. The purpose of these two is gonna be because they can't really attack anything, they're gonna do no damage and they're just gonna die. They'd rather, rather have them as low HP and uh, vision. Goes for this city right here. Attacks my other recon, so I have no full HP recon. Brings in this artillery right here on this 3 star defense terrain, so on, on this silo. Unmovable this uh, artillery, I don't think my tank does like yet. Probably does like 3 damage or something Up to tank. Uh, I also made an entire. So this is looking, this is looking scary already. Like there's all these tanks, and I have tanks, tanks coming, but I'm below, I'm below on unit count and a lot of unit value. I lost a lot of uh, units, and also I got a lot of damage three comps. I tried to interrupt this, but look at it's just two damage, so he can just. Uh, cap this again, and then we'll get that contact. Plus, there's these reinfor reinforcements over here, which I have no cover of. In comes my copter to finish off a recon, which is probably gonna die to an anti air attack from a city. But uh, I, go for, I go for this interrupt. What am I doing here? I attack here. I try to interrupt this, this recon is gonna die. Try to attack here, I know there's an artillery, I just... Uh, I was like committed, I'm like, yeah, let's go in. Attack! I need to keep my my income advantage, or else it, it, it was for nothing, you know, all that recon harassment and stuff. Gotta make sure that I keep that income, because if they get all these cities in, it's like they're gonna have the same income, and then... I'm dead. And I make a rocket. I guess I could have made two tanks, but uh, Serum has good rockets, though. Like it, it, it's, it's a good game plan. But this was not a good idea. Like if I'm gonna make a rocket, I should have probably stayed back because I will most definitely lose a lot of units now, and then my rocket is gonna arrive late to the party with no units to back it up. It'd be probably smarter to like sit back and wait for the rocket to arrive and. This does two, four, five, and then it can go. I don't know, two, four, like sit here in this city, pointing at this comm tower. Oh, that actually should be nice. In two tower, in two turns, it arrives at the city and it points at the comm tower, or I don't know, anywhere else here. But because because of this, I I don't know what I was thinking in, in this turn. I should never have done that. Now they can shoot at my tank, finish off my recon. Comes with this anti air right here, no tank from me to stop this, so all these are dead. Finishes off that recon. This is my only recon. And I made another one, of course, because I gotta have more recons. But yeah, I've lost like six, I don't know, seven recons already. Like, it's insane. Comes in with a tank, finishes off this infantry, kills my copter that. Oh! Doesn't kill it well, just stern things right there. Um, <laughs> it lives. <laughs> but yeah, this copter killed a 3 HP recon and now it's down to 1. Um, Text my tank as well. There's just so many units. There's so many units, and this copter gets attacked to pipe. And now, like, <laughs> I have nothing here. I have no strong vehicles. The only thing that's strong here is this artillery that is not even in place yet, so it needs one more turn. All of this has to back up. This image is here for vision to like, it's like try to defend this comp tower because it's gonna get overrun. Over here, over here it's a little bit better, like there's these two coming, but there's more units. You can see by the charge, like I have way more charge than my opponent, and that just means that I'm doing worse. I get this city, bring the artillery to lock, uh, to point at the comm tower in this city. 
try to run away. Uh, and I back off of here. Which I should have done a turn earlier. Bring my rocket. Just pull everything. Just full retreat. Retreat. Retreat, guys. And so they all go back and I make triple tank. And I'm like, I need more tanks. Because all of my tanks are dead and there's so many tanks. I need more tanks. Triple tank. But yeah, like I have nothing. I think you could easily attack into this. And over here, I guess over here, not, not as much. There's a few more vehicles over here. But now it's just, I, at the beginning of their turn, they're ahead in unit count and unit value. And it's by a pretty significant amount. Yeah, I'm ahead in income, but that, is, that isn't going to pay off until, you know, later in the long term. And my unit value is so low, like, it's going to need a lot to pay off. Gets the comp tower, so now they have two, and I have two. Gets the city, get the city. The only city that they're missing is this one, but otherwise we're pretty, pretty even. So, by now all that harassment, because I just kept on harassing and I didn't know when to stop. Uh, let's just say it didn't pay off, or it didn't go as I, as I, as I planned. Because my infantry moves in, attacks my tank, finishes off this, attacks his infantry. Like there's so many targets now. Like there's three vehicles where this artillery to attack. And that's it. Like there's nothing else that I can attack with. They're really like bullying me over here. And just look at that unit count. 25 to 36. And like a, I don't know, 30 or something K uh, unit, unit value advantage, uh, advantage. I remember looking at the KD and I was like, oh, what are you doing? Like, it was a lot of fun, but now it's the classic that you don't want to look at that much anymore. I didn't know what to do. Uh, like, it, it, it was just looking like a, like a GG. It was looking really rough. But, uh, if there's something that I tend to do and that some people might know is that I just I like to not give up <laughs> I just try to keep going even if I'm like dead I just keep going and just make sure that the opponent finishes off the game just to make sure that I'm fully dead might be a little annoying but a lot of, you know sometimes some players don't know how to finish off games and you might be able to turn it around or they might blunder a bit or, or something also you get a you know, I, the powers were coming, so that might uh, help out a bit. I don't know. So, I just keep going. Just fire with this artillery. Bring this uh, recon, finish off that tank. I finish off this uh, infantry to come in with a tank. Hit this artillery. And try to make a, you know, try to still hold this little position over here. It's sad because I wanted to lock this comp tower, but it's, that it's not looking like it's possible. And this rocket, instead of going over here, is going to come over here. Where they can't spot it. This came this way. And it's going to help protect this area. Because I didn't want to lose a comp tower. Being a comp tower down in this matchup would have hurt so much. Like, already these units are just not dying and being another com tower down would have been just horrible. So I just hold the line over here and I, I try to slow down this process of losing this com tower. I make a neo tank. And like I needed to invest in something big to hold down the line here. Lots of copters from my opponent. Guess this city, so now we're equal. Equal income, equal comp towers, but ahead on all the other camps. Finishes on my infantry. I have no vision of this area anymore. And decides to pull back wisely from over here. Kills my recon. So even harder to have vision of over here. Pulls back from over here. Also very wise. And makes their own rocket. Rocket, recon, infantry. We are getting close to the powers now, so it is also like something to keep in mind because you don't want a meteor to come and hit your whole army and then GG. 
Uh, I obviously interrupt this cap over here. I don't want them to get it. And I don't want them to get this counter either, so I'm not sure what I'm doing. I should try to like, I don't know, go this way or something. What was I trying to do? I honestly have no idea. I think I was just trying to hold the line and and see where my opponent was gonna go. Finishes off this infantry. There's nothing here. Oh, I they should have probably like started that capture. Oh, attacks with a copter. Attacks with another copter. So going full aggressive now, my opponent decides not to wait anymore and just goes full attack and decides to go for this comet tower. Yeah, I guess this counter would have would have been safer to go for instead of this one. But regardless, this has to go and, and starts capping this one as well. Let's see, six HP uh, infantry. And here I'm like, no, two counters. I can't lose that. And it's also looking to get ready for an attack on this side. So it's attacking on this side to for this com tower. I don't have that many units either. I have this tank, this rocket, and this neo tank. Oh, and this tank. I guess there's a few, but there's no anti air to deal with these copters. There's two copters, three copters, and no anti air. Like, this one is gonna take two turns to arrive, and it's just one of them to deal with three copters. And as you saw before, this doesn't kill, I think, the copter. <laughs> so at least it at one, so it's still a very annoying blocker. My little copter here is still giving vision. So that's really nice. Um, but yeah, there's, there's another force over here preparing to go for this city, maybe this city. So let's see what happens now. This is my position right now. This is what I can see. I don't see this, but I, I can feel it like I know there's something behind the fog. I know there's something here. I know there's a lot of units here. There's like units everywhere. And my KD is horrible. Look at it, 28 to 40, down 20,000 in value. Just the KD was ridiculous. I mean, yeah, they made a lot of copters, which like bumps their unit count a bit, but still, 12 units behind. It's like, oh, what am I gonna do? What can I do? My power is almost active, so I can most likely may maybe get the charge necessary for a super and then maybe slam the meteor here and stop this, stop this cap and like hit all these units or something. But this cap is also happening and storm units just don't die. I think this tank can't even finish off this tank, like, this is ridiculous. Maybe with a super, like with an extra 10, maybe? It's just... So, yeah, I, I couldn't finish off the tank with this tank, so I had to use the Neo tank to finish it off. And then I sent my tank to attack this infantry, because I do not want this to be capped. Because it's a 14, they could have capped it down to 8 and then join cap. And this it would be really hard I would to like keep investing a unit, a vehicle even, like I can't even send an infantry because I have no infantry here, I have to interrupt, so I have to like send a vehicle constantly there. Like these two are only to interrupt this uh, comp tower instead of being attacking uh, units over here. Rocket attacks tank, tank, French switches from over here to attack this entire air, right to move away, finish off, oh. On a road, 6 HP tank on a road, he leaves it at 3. Recon comes in, is it at 3? And yeah, I get the super. Fortunately, for me, my opponent didn't uh, bait the missile, didn't get ready for a missile. Or maybe this was their bait, but I'm pretty sure uh, a better thing would be to have baited the missile somewhere else with less units. But fortunately for me, it hit over here and damaged all of this army that could have very easily started pushing towards all of these cities. There's way more infantry than I do. There's two, three tanks, where there's my two tanks, there's an artillery, there's an anterior, and there's a rocket. 
it's pretty similar in 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 count or like in units over here but over here I'm completely overwhelmed so could have slowly pushed forward plus with the super coming and so since the meteor hit over here it doesn't show here the HP but all of these are at 2 right now I decide to move all of my units away from here because I like I was expecting the meteor to come over here and hit the, the base somewhere with a with a bait but instead it hit over here like it, the center it was on this city so I was like and it didn't hit over here there's two copters anti-air tank tank uh, and this is a lot of unit value it's like 18 like 20 something maybe 30k and I was like this is a lot of unit value and it didn't hit over here and instead it hit here so there's, there's more unit value over here than there was over here and just got slammed by the meteor I was like Phew. okay so the the deadly push that was coming from over here is now stalled out it's delayed like all all those units are at two for all I knew there was like a bomber and a neo or something just because of the KD I was looking how it was looking and I had my own neo so I was like I can only expect them to also have a neo I was like Phew. I got lucky and then I can assume that all this is going to be stalled out plus all the inventory are, are at 2 so all my vehicles from over here are just going to everything is just going to move away from here and just help out this area which is dying like this is going to cap and join cap <laughs> forget how I didn't have to like invest like 2 or 3 units plus with the super defense so yeah, I, even my tank is also kind of shifting this way, and I completely, I'm like, the meteor did its job over here, they didn't bait it, so it hit over here, and this push, this ghost push that I couldn't see, is now, how do you say, like, put down, it's like, um, I don't know, put to sleep for now, until they heal their units up, and whatever. Or even like if they decide to push forward, there's only 2 HP units, so they're very easily finished off and can't really attack anything. So I just move everything over here. And I just leave this artillery and few infantry. Everything moves forward. And I know the super is coming, so I, I make my own bait. And I actually, yeah, I made an APC. A medium tank, copter, APC beats whatever all of these other random unit values the the way the, the the units were moved also it was on purpose so as to make it make sure that it landed over here and not over here for example like this is a lot 22 plus 7 plus 1 I don't know that's a lot so I, this had to like be larger than this or I don't know this um, and the ABC is nice because yeah it gets hit by the meteor but so yeah he attacks finishes it off here comes the meteor. So what I was saying, it's nice because these two units get hit, which sucks, but it's two units. Because this one doesn't really count. The APC still works just as fine at 1 HP as it does at 10. Yeah, it doesn't serve as a blocker anymore because it can get killed off by one hit. But I'll still use it to like bring infantry faster, either from here or from here. And so at 2 HP, 1 HP, 4 HP, whatever, it'll still do its same, the, the same purpose. So this was nice, a, a little bump in unit value to bait the missile over here instead of hitting somewhere here. Like here, it would have been deadly. Losing the Neo tank and the tank, that would have meant that I would have lost this comp tower for sure. But there would be no way of stopping it. Um, or I don't know, maybe here as well, like the rocket tank area. Like if I had this anti here over here, maybe it would have landed here. And, I was like, okay, yeah, completely lost over here. So, very important to bait that missile. Not sure why my opponent didn't do that. I guess maybe they, they were like, ah, I already won. Or maybe he just doesn't know how to bait the missile. For that, you got the move planner, which is really, really, really good. The move planner to, to know where the missile is going to land and make the proper bait is golden. It's just so good. Um, I mean, th there's no way for you to know where your own missile is gonna land on the move because you don't see from the fog. 
I guess in standard, yeah, but in fog you don't see. But you can know where your opponent's missile is gonna land, like on your army, and so you make sure to place everything correctly. So, decides to go and still here, goes for this cap, this cap. These caps are pretty much unstoppable. Imagine if all this was at 10 HP, like, I, I would have been, been dead. Like, from then, uh, they could have moved for over here, this HQ. I mean, didn't really have to, going for these three cities. I'd be dead, plus these. Like, it's capping this counter. This city. This counter. There's three caps already here. Plus this city and this city. It's like five caps going on. <laughs> it was stressful time. So, and goes up to heal all of these. This was just like a, a gift, like the, the meteor, a, a gift from the heavens, the meteor from Stern, hitting all these units. It, I would have probably been dead if my opponent would have uh, uh, baited the missile over here, something similar to what I did, then I would have, I would have definitely lost, pretty sure. But this just like gave me a slight chance of maybe doing something. Like instead of being like this, probabilities of them winning versus me, now we made it like this. Like it's not that I'm, it's not a comeback, but it's like a little bit more close. I think also trying to make the missile hit as many units possible is far better than something like this. Like my missile hit like eight or nine units of theirs, while their missile only hit three units, of which two are actually like can do something. The other one is still gonna work for just a time. And so this way you, you you reduce the damage that the that the missile does. It does the same amount of damage in unit value, but it does de less damage in like unit count. Because two units at two HP is better than having eight units at two HP. Like oh, oh two HP infantry and cooling tanking like all these whew, at ten HP would have been dead. So I decide to attack over here, kill off this infantry. Can't, I can't even kill off these copter because of the because of the extra defense. Interrupt this cap, and I have to send my neo tank to to attack this infantry because this tank would have done like nothing, and then would have just very easily gotten it. Send my infantry. Did no damage. Oh, did two damage. Two damage to stop this cap. So I stop this come tower cap, and I'm trying to stop this one and I'm trying to stop this come tower I try no this is not a stopping this is a delaying finish off this infantry so this tank didn't actually end up going this way it just went this way and mistake going for the come tower myself I'm like eh, all of these units are dead they're all at 2 HP can't stop this or at least I don't know maybe trying to start a fight or see what they add but eh, probably not another good idea probably save this infantry over here help over here keep with the you know stay stay in the lane of like sending everything over here to like destroy all this push and just hold the line over here this copter is still alive by the way I'm getting vision is nice so yeah this infantry dead rocket fires at my tank this infantry is dead so these two cities are for sure theirs and yeah, uh, taking my infantry, all these little uh, units, starting to like build up uh, an army back again over here, healing up and stuff. Join caps here, my counter again. It's at eight now, so I have to leave it at seven or less. But they, like, they will just keep on uh, join capping, and I have no other units over here that will reach. So my Neo tank has to attack into this just to stop that cap. Going for this city over here and just putting a bunch of units over here as blockers. No, no, my indirects can reach, so I have to use all my direct units or use my Neo tank. But then they will get the Comtar. Makes a bomber, probably in response to the Neo tank. So I get vision. Attack this infantry. Like I I'm still pretty. Very, very disadvantaged. Uh, I was. <laughs> we're still, we're on equal income, but this is going to go away. Like this is this is capped, capped, and so that will be a 4k difference um, with equal com towers and maybe even a com tower uh, disadvantage, which would really, really hurt. 
So it's looking really bad, plus the unit count difference is very large. The unit value wise is very similar. Um, probably because of the meteor, I don't know. Does it kill? Oof. Okay, so with the two comp towers and without the extra defense from the tower, I guess the entire does get the kill on the copter. So I go for all these and there is no... I have no unit to stop this city. Just the, the wall, the walling was too good and my units were too far away. And I decided to give up the city instead of the comm tower. I I think that was okay-ish because I was like, okay, I'll get this city back. This one's really close to my base and I have this infantry coming. But I don't want to lose this comm tower because if I lose this comm tower then I can't, I simply can't kill his units. And then it's, it's G. Come in, kill off this infantry. Don't kill off that tank. Join camp. What am I doing here? Nah, this is this is very bad for me. <laughs> Should just stay over here. Uh, bring the rocket over here to like point at these two because I want to get this one back. And the APC is doing its work. You know, shrink, uh, bringing infantry into the front lines. Make a helicopter as well. I need, I need more infantry. So yeah, gets the two cities. Oh, on this city, so it's a 6k income difference. Right now, my unit value is really high up from all those copter kills and other units. So it's pretty nice, and the unit count is still in their advantage, but that income hurts. This tank is dead. Uh, this infantry is dead. Join caps again over here and blocks this tile so I can't use two units. I can only use one. And brings a bunch of other units over here, so it has to make it really hard. I guess opens up this uh, pipe scene over here with the bomber. And so I uh, get the kill over there to free up the Neo tank. I get vision of my little copter that's still alive, by the way. It's been sitting around over here. Neo tank kills a recon. I think uh, the Neo tank didn't have the strength enough to lower this infantry to at least 3 HP. So I decided to just attack something else because he was still going to get it. So I decided to finish off all the other units. Stop that recon, that tank, uh, take out all these other infantry, getting this infantry in position to capture the city back, move all of this in, like okay, 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 okay. All that like push from Cap Pearson into here, uh, it did work out because they get they got this city and they're gonna get this comp tower, but I was able to kill a bunch of units and now like the KD is more even. I think I was even slightly ahead in KD, but you know, I was like, oh, okay, there might, there might be a chance here. Let's just keep playing, let's keep, keep going. I'm gonna lose this comp tower, which really stings, but I really want to get it back. And I have now I have a nice army over here, and it doesn't seem like there is much, but I don't know. It's for a war, uh, but I do want to reclaim all this. So I have this infantry and I have this infantry. Like this one's gonna go over here. This one should go over here. And these two are in position to maybe go here and here. So I want to reclaim all of this land and get that income back. Cause 20 to 26, oof, that's quite a bit. So yeah, gets the comm tower now at three comm towers, and I'm just at one. I also have my medium tank sitting here, the one that's been healing up, cause I don't want any. HQ cap shenanigans, but they start moving in. Get this rocket pointing at my HQ. I don't see any of this. By the way. Look at this scary ball of units plus the bomber. This bomber is probably instead of going for the neo tank, it's like mm, let's go for this. Neo -tank. Also using an APC to bring in the infantry. And I use my copter again to get more vision. And I'm gonna finish off all these little infantry. Start capping here. Heal that uh, that tank up. Get more vision. Finish off that infantry. Just in position also to then come over here. 
capture this city and just move my little ball of units. I was like, hmm. Now that I have, now that I have this area, I can not only take all these cities, but maybe I could even go for an HQ camp. Like this infantry is in range. I could just not even finish this and go for an HQ camp. It's like, hmm, interesting. But uh, I, I can also predict that because there is no units over here whatsoever and there hasn't been like any reinforcements over the past, I don't know, four turns, you know they have to be somewhere else. So I knew that there was something going on somewhere. I wasn't sure if, if maybe they were here or maybe they were here. So just trying to make sure that they don't go for my cities and I also sit, it, sit that medium tank in that HQ and be like, you're not going to get it. So right now, I was feeling good. It's like, oh, I weathered the storm. I opened okay, but I fooled around too much and then I got punished and I was losing like on all counts. And then I got my super that like saved me. Now it's like kind of even, I would say, but not really because they're, they're up in, in income and comp towers. So I really have to do something and a lot in the next returns to just bring it back. But I was feeling better at uh, this time. And so it comes in, stops that cap, attacks, gets all these interacts ready. Comes in with a recon to get vision. I guess shoots at my medium tank. Did only like two damage, yeah. <laughs> attacks can't kill. Look at that, Sturm can't even kill on like an infantry on planes. This bomber getting ready. The, everything is getting ready to shoot at that HQ. I don't even have vision, like this one can see here and here, like I can't see these infantry. <laughs> I don't have a recon, I, I I definitely needed a recon over here. Moving everything in place, look at all this, this like crescent shape. It's gonna attack the city, HQ, they're getting ready. And this rocket is like uh, pointing at the city. So I get this city back, going for this comp tower though, it's like uh, what are you doing? So I'm gonna get my comp tower back. I'm gonna get this city. Yeah, you're not getting that. Shooting, shooting. Um, just forming this big ball of units. Heal it up. Oh, look at that! Look at that copter getting the <laughs> getting the kill on that little tank. This copter has been alive for so long, giving me vision and finishing off this tank. Very nice. Bring this little infantry and finish seeing this off. I moved my medium tank unwisely to finish off this recon. And uh, yeah, my HQ is completely exposed right now. I am ahead on unit value and unit count. The KD was looking better for me. Oof, but now, comes in, attacks that, goes for the, the HQ cap. And Sturm HQ caps, as I've said, they are nothing to, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but you shouldn't underestimate them, I guess. Finn comes in, attacks, finishes up this infantry, and goes for the power, which is strange. And yeah, it hits my, my units over here. It doesn't show, but it also hits all of these. And I'm not sure if that's a good play. But comes in with a bomber, attacks the medium tank. So this can't help interrupt the cap. Attack this infantry. Uh, almost finishes off that off, finishes that copter, attacks my artillery, attacks my anti air, also blocking it. It still can't reach the HQ. And just forms a ball. It would have been better to put like one of these over here and just like cover all the tiles around the HQ. Yeah, like that. But then use the artillery to put it here, or maybe the two HP infantry even. But all of uh, all these units are damaged, so it's very hard to interrupt the cap. I still have to finish off these units, and then I don't have vision of this tile right here. 
to just then strike at the infantry to interrupt it and delay it. And then I need more units to like uh, prevent them from actually capping my HQ. So then I saw this turn and I was like, no. Uh, why did I move the medium tank? To be fair, I think the medium tank would have still died because the rocket was pointing at the HQ plus the bomber. They would have probably taken out the, the medium tank. Um, I was like, why? I was doing so well. I was doing so well over here. And now, I thought I was bringing it back, but now they're going for an HQ cap. And I was, I think this, this turn also took me like a few days. I was trying to calculate because I didn't know there was a unit here and they have the extra defense and maybe that's why they use the power uh, because now it's really hard to finish off these units to just try to reach over here I have I have this recon and I have this copter, this tank and this copter I have these four over here and I need to finish off these I don't know if there's a unit over here but maybe like my best plan would be to like open up this tile, so finish off this infantry to then strike with a vehicle on this one. So I needed somehow to, I needed uh, a few units to finish this one. And then I needed two vehicles to maybe finish this one. I'm not sure if it, if it even does because I only have one. Oh, I'm gonna get the second contract, so that's good. Yeah, I get it, first of all. So first of all, I come with a recon. I think I had calculated maybe if uh, these would have finished it off and it would it wasn't guaranteed. So I just come in with my recon, finish it off, get vision. Luckily this tile wasn't occupied. Uh, get that city. I get vision with my copter to see what else there is here. Uh, I'm very close to my super. And I don't know where the meteor could have flat. Maybe here? Maybe here. But I need, I'm trying to get that charge. But with the Neo tank, the, the damage to the Neo tank from the meteor. Strike there, strike there, strike there. I get vision with my recon over here. And I decide to sack this anti air against the medium tank to get some charge. I sack my other anti air to get more charge. And I'm bare. But I know I can get it, so I attack. I get my super. And now where does the meteor land? It lands right here. And it hits the infantry. Another second time that my opponent doesn't bait the missile, or the meteor, I guess. So I'm able to finish off that infantry. I try to finish this one up, doesn't use this one, it doesn't again, anyways, so I finish that off, I, I wanted this to, uh, to finish this off so I could like use this copter also to attack over here, maybe kill this artillery, but that wasn't the case, so I try to free up this anti-air, finish off the bomber, uh, can't even finish this off, so finish that off, kill that off, and just make another rocket. At this point, I just want to... After this turn, I'm like... Okay. Now, I have definitely weathered the storm. Just because that HQ cap didn't go through. If it would have been planned better, the HQ cap. It could have definitely uh, been uh, a guaranteed. Baited, maybe move these like, around here and bait the, the meteor over here. So it wouldn't land here. And then cover this tile, you know, make sure to put a bunch of uh, units over here. And then it'd be really, really hard or maybe make it impossible for me to reach the HQ to interrupt it. Or if I can, it'd just do like two damage. So it, like, the infantry would be at eight and then you can join cap. And then it would be like, you know, I have to kill the infantry on the next turn or leave it at one. But that's really hard uh, on an HQ with the extra defense. Something like that would have worked and it would have been GG. Uh, so start shooting. Sits the medium tank here to prevent an HQ cap. Their own. Starts finishing off my units. 
and decides to go for the CDs instead. But at this point, I was feeling very good. I think right now, the odds had definitely turned around. I could just chill back. I didn't even have to go for the HP grab now. I, I can just sit back and just go for the CDs, go for this one. Of course, deny these. Uh, but yeah, like I know I, I'm ahead in uh, unit count. Oh, actually, I'm not. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I, I am, but very slightly. So I go for this city, go for this city, a block over here, so I'm gonna get that. Finish up that. Just can't even finish that off. And I start shifting my tanks up here. I'm like, okay, the work over here is done. I'm not gonna push any further. I'm not I'm not gonna do what they did, like over extending over here, so I'm just gonna push over here. This is this is the limit. This line, the diagonal is the is the limit. I'm just gonna get these cities, point at them with my indirects, and then shift everything up here to get these and just you know just go for all the contested stuff and that's it you don't have to push any further get my rocket in position to point at the hq so uh, no more hq cap shenanigans can can uh, happen make a little ball here of indirects covering this cap make more indirects brings in a fighter i guess they were expecting me to make a bomber uh, to maybe kill these off but i didn't make a bomber which is full retreat mode over here for deal goes in with the medium tanks, hits on my artillery, brings in the rocket I mean, this is a pretty scary force right here uh, get my city back, I shoot at that medium tank, shoot at this one heal that up, bring the neo tank, boom bring the tank back I went over here, now it's back here and I get vision of the rocket and I attack it with my tank it just it does the damage but going a little bit around. I guess I am overextended here a little bit but uh, because they had committed their units over here I was like okay let's fight and I started bringing everything down here I'm like, okay you're gonna you want to fight down here let's fight down here I'm just gonna send everything and over here I'm just gonna defend my HQ <laughs> just leave my rocket and my artillery here and just like invest everything to just get these cities and they resign GG, well played. I think my opponent played really well, uh, up to the point where they had uh, overextended a little bit over here. I think it was okay for like a turn or two, but then they like they overextended for an uh, overextended period of time. <laughs> I guess like there was it was too many turns that they were in this area, and it's really hard. Uh, it, it takes a lot of time to reinforce while it's only it's very close to my reinforcements Maybe with another CO matchup Like if I was I don't know Hawk or whatever because of these forests right here It would have taken me so long to reach over there But because I was turned I could do like one two and hit and he was one two So in two turns I, I would be hitting from all these bases With another CO would be like two one two three four five six and then two four six and then another turn should be three turns and also baiting the missile would have definitely won them the game that was probably the most crucial mistake that uh, my opponent did and i blundered also at the beginning with uh i i overextended at the beginning i was like yeah i'm sending the recons and the tanks and everything like what are you doing here what was it turn like there's somewhere around here like I just keep attacking like here like this turn where I made the rocket yeah this turn could have just like ended the game I was already in an not very good position let's say but the fact that I just I head on to attack like I have no units and I'm going to attack no units and no reinforcements either like, this tank doesn't cover anything here. It doesn't cover these tanks. This anti I guess, covers the tanks for a copter. But it's like, there's nothing There's nothing reinforcing these two either. Like, these two can get attacked, and there's nothing that will come to help them. I'm attacking on all fronts too. Like, I'm attacking here, and I'm attacking here, and here, and here, and here. <laughs> it's like, I'm just attacking everywhere. 
I swear, sometimes it's just you make these turns. You're like, ah, this is and everything. And especially at the beginning, you gotta be more careful. Like, I just start losing everything. I lose that copter, that tank. Uh, I get destroyed here. I get shot at here. I guess this went a little bit unpunished. Like, it was shot at, but it was like, okay, okay ish. But this is, this is dead. Like, there's nothing here. This R2 is gonna be all by its own. And then somehow oh, I retreat back. They like go all in. Well, I guess they kind of retreat, but then they're like, nah, I want your stuff. They go in, attack. And they stay here for way too long. And I just, I'm able to clean up. But then when I'm, when I'm finally confident, they go for freaking HQ cap with, with Sturm on a power. So the extra defense is like 30. Plus 40, it's like 70% defense. Oops. Insane. So luckily, yeah, the Meteor. Not baiting the missiles, super important. I I didn't bait this missile because I wasn't expecting... Uh, yeah, this missile, I wasn't expecting them to use the power. Because you don't want to use the stern power, I feel like. I think a lot, of players, a lot of players use it as a desperate move. Like, I ah, just... Send the meteor, whatever it does for damage. But usually, feel like you want to wait for the super and have that like that blowing, that uh, what do you call it? I don't know, that strong blow of uh, of the meteor that leaves it at two HP. Because six HP is like it can still do something, but at two HP, that's like devastating, it destroys it. So I I, I didn't bait it uh, because I didn't expect them to use it. And it doesn't really hurt that much. But if if it would've been one turn more, maybe they didn't use the power, then I could've probably, uh, then I would've probably baited the missile again. But yeah, GG, GG Capricorn, and that means that now I move on to round three of the Smacky Cup. So I'm very glad of that. Get to play all these funny maps, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.